And this is Genesis 2 and verse 7. And the Lord God formed the man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Kal halal yahawah b'ashem yahawah shai b'ashem kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone where I learned this truth from. Peace and salutations to the brothers on down teaching and preaching, pushing this gospel. Good news to four corners of the earth, waking up the hopeful elect of Israel. Greetings also to the few sisters that tune into these video epistles. We call this lesson, We're Connected. Might seem laughable at the moment, but we who? We're the true children of the promise promise that was made to our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We're those people. We're in the book. We're connected to the power. That power, his name is Yahweh, meaning he is he to be. His only begotten son is Yahweh Shai. That's the savior, redeemer, high priest, and mediator in the heaven. That's our champion right there, our big brother. He's the one that came and died for us, his people, not the whole world. It's the children of Israel. That's the truth. That's what's been revealed in our time. So we give double honors to the apostles and elders who preach the truth. And all the brothers on down who's been obedient to the Holy Spirit has come on them to bring us this truth. And although it's laughable at the moment to say we're connected to our power because we're in such a low state, but the other nations, you, you wouldn't believe it, but they want to be you. I remember going many years back in the UK, growing up as a child. You go to school, these Edomites, they want to be you. They want to touch your hair and the little thing you, you say. They want to, you know, be like you, say the things you say, laugh how you laugh. We are those people. We wouldn't have known at a time, we're just little children. But the spirit that is in them and the spirit that is in you, they recognize each other. Just like Jacob and Esau in the womb. We're that chosen seed. That promise that's made. What is it? It's a promise of immortality. It's guaranteed. And it's not made to the other 17 nations. The Most High breathed his laws, statutes, and commandments into Adam, who's the son of the Most High. Not the other nations. He commanded Adam to love thy way. Actually, let's just go straight to that. Love thy way is second Ezra 3, from 5 to 7, and gave us a body unto Adam without soul, which was the workmanship of thine hands, and did breathe into him the breath of life and he was made a living made living before thee and thou ledest him into paradise which thy right hand had planted before ever the earth came forward and unto him thou gavest commandment to love thy way which he transgressed and immediately thou appointest death in him and in his generations of whom came nations tribes people and kindreds out of number Sons of Adam, the sons of God, Yasharala. That's what Jacob's name was changed to after that all-night wrestling match with the angel. Yasharala, he prince power. That's who we are, not the other nations. Let's go from 11 to 16 in Second Ezra 3. Nevertheless, one of them thou leftest, namely Noah, with his household of whom came all righteous men. And it happened that when they that dwelt upon the earth began to multiply and had gotten them many children and were a great people, they began again to be more ungodly than the first. Now when they lived so wickedly before thee, thou didst choose thee a man from among them whose name was Abraham. Him thou lovest, and unto him only thou showest thy will and made us an everlasting covenant with him, promising him that thou wouldest never forsake his seed. And unto him thou gavest Isaac. See these people, this, this, this clown, especially one of them, when I was speaking about going back to school, it reminds me of this fool. He's been paid off and he's running around the camps. I don't know how many years he's been doing it. I won't even mention his name on, on my channel. 
He goes around following up trying to disprove the truth. But you can see the same spirit. I, I want to be you. He's just so envious and jealous. It's all over him. Just let me touch your hair. Let me... I just want to be like you. What's that you just said? Oh, I want to uh, be a rap artist. I want to... I've got this beard. And I just... You know, you just look at this man. It's oozing out of him the hatred. The hypocrisy of this man. Unto him thou gavest Isaac. We don't stop it. Abraham. It's Abraham, Isaac, and then what? And unto... Let's read it, read it again. Verse... This is... Second Ezra 3, verse 16. And unto him thou gavest Isaac, and unto Isaac also thou gavest Jacob and Esau. As for Jacob, thou didst choose him to thee, and put by Esau. And so Jacob became a great multitude. He didn't say Abraham, Isaac, and Esau. No, Esau is the Edomite. That's the progenitor of the Edomite, the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. We know who you are. And we're not going to be intimidated by your madness and all of your schemes. This is your progenitor, is Esau. You're the Edomites in the scriptures. And we're Hebrew Israelites. We don't care what you want to call us. Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the dispersed. We're the diaspora spread to the four corners of the earth. Verse 19, And the glory went through four gates of fire and earthquake and of wind and of cold, that thou mightest give the law unto the seed of Jacob, and diligence unto the generation of Israel. This is cutting. It's just got nothing to do with the rest of the, the other 17 nations. It's Adam who was commanded to love thy way. And this seed, this perpetual seed, continued through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the 12 tribes of which we come. I'm telling you that's a, a money shot right there. We you call a drop the mic moment, if you will. We're going to get back to that same... Scripture in a moment. I think we're just going to go to uh, Psalms 147, 19 and 20. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. They're not included in this thing. Deuteronomy 4. Let's just get... Oops, just got a few friendly mosquitoes come to say good morning. Uh, Deuteronomy 4, let's go from 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God, Yahweh my power, commanded me. This is Moses speaking to the children of Israel. Not the whole world, they're not included. This is exclusive here, that ye should do so in the land whither, though, whither ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great who hath the Most High so nigh unto them? As the Lord our God, Yahweh, our power is in all things that we call on him for. And what nation is there so great that hath statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? Here are all these possessive pronouns. They're just not included in this. Deuteronomy 13, 8 and 9. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance... When he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. And hear this, for the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. Not the other nations. They're not in this thing. The serpent and the other nations. It's just... What the brother calls, they're not included in this 
thing of ours. Their ways are, it's a false way. Let's get that. We've got precept here, where are we? Psalms 119, 103. How sweet are thy words unto my taste. Yes, sweeter than honey to my mouth. 104. Through thy precepts I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. See, these people, they hate the ways of the Most High with all their falsities. It's plastic, this GMOs, it's See, the, the earth will not yield unto this man, although it's been given to him for temporary charge. The earth won't yield unto him. So anywhere he is, he's got to build all these plastic uh, stuff, these substitutes. Right now he's telling people to, they have to eat bugs. He's purposely destroying all of the natural food stuff that was made here for us to eat. Now he's saying, oh, there's not enough. After he's destroyed everything. See, this Esau, Edom, this so white man, he hates all of the laws of the Most High. Let's just get uh, Job 21. Let's go from 13. Job 21, start at 13. They spend their days in wealth and in a moment go down to the grave. Therefore they say unto the Most High, depart from us, for we desire not to know not the knowledge of thy ways. Let's read that again. Therefore, they say unto the Most High, depart from us. For we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. What is the Almighty that we should serve him? And what profit should we have if we pray unto him? Lo, their good is not in their hand. The counsel of the wicked is far from me. We're not, they're not interested in you. We shouldn't be interested in them because we are connected. And connected to our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Isaiah. Let's go 63. Isaiah 63. We start at 17. O Lord, why hast thou made us the heir from thy ways, and hardened our heart from thy fear? Return for thy servants' sake, the tribes of thine inheritance. The people of thy holiness have possessed it but a little while. Our adversaries have trodden down the sanctuary. We are thine. Thou never bearest rule over them. They were not called by thy name. They're not a part of this. We're the one with the connection to our power. That they come in with their artificial intelligence to try to sever the link. But they can't get the elect or to be a part of the elect of the Most High. We refer to ourselves as the hopeful elect at the moment, looking to be graduated up. We want to hear those three words, come up hither. We're going to go to next. Back to Job, I think. Job 4, just had a few verses here. Let's see. Where are you, Job? 4 and verse 5. I don't know if we read that. But now is time come upon thee, and thou faintest, it touches thee, and thou art troubled. Is not this thy fear, thy confidence, thy hope, and the uprightness of thy ways? I might have lost my 19. Oh. I've lost my way there a bit, but let's get back to. Isaiah 40 and verse 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing. And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. We know from history, I think even now in Lebanon, these trees were absolutely massive. And so anytime I read this, it presses on my spirit to mention just the emphasis that's been put here, that the Most High is making it known that even if these massive trees were burnt as a burnt offering, they wouldn't be enough once it's coming from these other nations. 
See, it says there, as a drop of a bucket. If you drop a little droplet from a bucket, you don't pay any attention to it. So it says, and Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. See, and we can back that up in 2nd Ezra 6. Ezra. An identical 2nd Ezra 6 towards the end here. Let's go from 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. That's why they were so jealous and envious of him. We read more about that in Ezekiel 31. Of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hadst chosen. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said they are nothing, but be like unto spittle. This is plain and has lightened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel and now O oh lord behold these heathen which have never been reputed have ever been reputed as nothing have begun to be lords over us and to devour us that's where we find ourselves today we're wondering how long this is going on but listen Esther is asking the very same question but we thy people whom thou hast called thy first born thy only begotten and thy fervent lover are given into their hands the earth is given into the hand of the wicked who's the wicked is malachi 1 and 4 is the edomite they're known as the border of wickedness the so-called white man this man is leprous man no color in his skin his melon's been withdrawn that leprous look stringy hair weak effeminate if the world now be given for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? Shall what? This wretched rulership? Well, not much longer, my brother Esdras, who I know is somewhere preaching the word. Not much longer. I was mixing up earlier. Job, my T and my J was mixing up, so I thought I wanted to go to Tobit. There was a verse here in Tobit I wanted to read. My son, Tobit 4 and 5, Be mindful of the Lord our power all thy days, and let not thy will be set to sin or to transgress his commandments. Do uprightly all thy life long, and follow not the ways of unrighteousness. Verse 19, Bless the Lord thy God alway, and desire of him that thy days might be directed and that all thy parts and counsels may prosper. For every nation hath not counsel, but the Lord himself giveth all good things and humbleth whom he will, as he will now therefore my son. Remember my commandments, neither let them be put out of thy mind. See, I love those two verses there. In Tobit, we're going to read some more. Second is just... Just finish up with 2nd Ezra, get back to 2nd Ezra 3. Let's go from 31. I do not remember how this may be left. Are they then of Babylon better than they of Zion? It's the modern day Babylon. It's America. It's Babylon the Great. The whore that sits on top of the beast, which is the European Union. That's all these so called white nations. The Edomite nations put together with their military ring, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO. That's their military might that they've been bullying and going around murder, rape, steal, take everybody's stuff, mass scale theft. With America, Babylon the Great sitting on top. And the whole world is sick of it and fed up and is coming to an abrupt end real soon. Verse 32, this is 2nd Ezra 3. Or is there any other people that knoweth thee beside Israel? Or what generation hath so believed thy covenants as Jacob? We see that there's none. Verse 33, and yet their reward appeareth not, and their labor hath no fruit. For I have gone here and there through the heathen, and I see that they flow in wealth, and think not upon thy commandments. Weigh thou therefore our wickedness now in the balance, and theirs also that dwell in the world. And so shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel. 
Verse 35. Or when was it that they which dwell upon the earth have not sinned in thy sight? Or what people have so kept thy commandments? Thou shalt find that Israel by name hath kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. All praises to our power. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. We are connected to our power and we have to resist. We got some real dark moments coming up. Inflation going crazy. You can't afford stuff in the shops anymore. You have to be picking and choosing what to buy. And we are leaning heavily on those names to get us through. The scripture said there's only one name that you can be saved by. What is it? It's Yahweh Shai. That's that bridge, that's that door to our salvation, which is immortality. That's the connection that we have. And we are those people. So I guess it's been a brief exhortation to the brothers and few sisters that listen. We're connected to our power, and we're not going to give in to the lies and the falsehood and all the slandering. It's what they call it, water off a duck's back. We're ready. We're looking forward to it. We're getting ourselves all prayed up. We know what you're going to come with. The playbook is it's overdone. We can see what you're doing. We read the book. The book belongs to us. It's not yours. You're a liar. And so we're not going to allow you to sever our link to our connection. So I want to spread, spread the lesson beyond where it needs to be. We've been listening to We're Connected. Shalom. Until the next one.